everybody, Jill and I just got back from a very special cruise with my parents for their 50th anniversary. So what we're going to do is we're going to review, start with the review of the ship. So we took a TUI cruise on Morella Cruises. Uh, now for you Canadians and uh, Americans who aren't familiar with TUI, you've seen that everywhere, I'm sure. you got to be a British to be on the ship. Now if you're Canadian, you can sneak on if you book through Sunwing. The only problem with booking through Sunwing is you can't pre-book excursions or choose room or anything to that extent. So, let's get started. 1995 Celebrity Cruises actually built this ship as a century. It has 12 decks, uh, has 907 cabins, and it can hold a total of 1,814 passengers. But back in 2015, TUI purchased the ship, uh, retrofitted it completely, and rebranded it the Morella Explorer 2. So this, uh, this cruise is the Pride of Panama uh, itinerary, leaving from Jamaica, going to Panama, uh, Colombia, and Costa Rica. Uh, my parents and I, both we both got, uh, you know, uh, balcony suites. Uh, they're right next door to us, which was nice. Uh, the, uh, the crew was nice enough to open up the divider so we could just uh, pop back and forth over the balcony. As you can see, you know, as usual, a nice king-size bed. Those were abnormally small, very comfortable, but abnormally small. Um, and there is our first cruise duck ever, whoever got that. I uh, hope you enjoyed finding it. On the right-hand side there, full, three full-size uh, closets with uh, shelving, drawers, and safe. Uh, you know, pretty standard bathroom. Now, the bathroom is the only place I'm going to say on this ship that I could start to see the age of the ship. Nothing wrong with it, very clean. It was just the tiles. You can see the tiles were starting to get worn from all the uh, scrubbing. Let's start here on the, uh, you know, the main pool deck. As you can see, some loungers were, as usual, uh, always, uh, you know, could be difficult to find. We always managed to find a couple, though. Uh, they had lots of, lots up on the, uh, the, the upper deck there that people seemed to really enjoy. Um, now, they did have lots of uh, interaction on the deck. And as you can see here, everybody got it. It was, it was quite loud. Now, so let's go inside. And uh, this is the main um, atrium, three decks tall. They had installed a, a beautiful LED wall there. The deck we're on here is mostly just some shopping and ways to get to uh, get around the boat. Next one down, you can see, we'll, we'll talk about it in a minute, is the flutes. Uh, bar and at the bottom is guest services and at night they did the, the ballroom there um, they didn't really have ballroom anywhere else which is fine by me i'm not a big ballroom guy uh, but it was there if you wanted it now as we cut you know around some of the shops here uh that's basically this is just the duty free there uh we're gonna head into the 19th hole yep 19th hole golf golf themed bar uh it was actually quite a nice bar it had uh, you know Comfort seating wasn't crazy busy, but why golf? Well, because this ship, as the, and it's the first one I've ever been on, had two full swing golf simulators. Uh, now they were very busy. If you wanted to use them, you better book early, or you are not going to get to use them. But they were very well reasonable, 25 pounds for uh, uh, an hour, and uh, you know you got the full hour. And there's Dad, happy anniversary, old man. This is the one deck down. This is flutes. This was their uh, Prosecco Champagne bar. Um, now, why, why really you know, look at it? Because I want you to see this. What a great idea. Press for champagne. Go ahead, push that button, and someone will appear with a fresh glass of whatever bubble you're drinking. At night, they did have someone playing piano, singing uh, most of the night. It was nice. Uh, it was popular at night. Now, one thing you need to know about Morella, which is different than a lot of cruise lines, is with your price of passage you do get the basic drink package um included with lots of uh beer options lots of drink options uh so we're going to just quickly cut through this the, the shopping there's not a ton of shopping uh but it, there was enough now the, the one thing about the drinks package i did want to say is um that if it wasn't on the menu they wouldn't make it for you so jill wanted brain sour uh, which we fell in love with in Cyprus. You could get whiskey sour and you could get brandy, but they wouldn't uh, make a brandy sour because it was not on the menu. At the end of the world, just kind of weird. Uh, through those doors there are this is the main theater. But before we go there, let's just take a look out here. This is the promenade deck. There was no promenading because... Yep, completely full of sun, uh, sun worshippers. To each their own uh, and, you know, not the end of the world. 
This is the theater. The theater was great. The shows were amazing. Uh, it was a different show every night. Nothing got repeated. And, uh, you know, I, I, you know, nothing bad to say about it. Now we're going to head into Squid and Acre. Squid and Acre is um, kind of like the heart of the ship. This is where they did bingo and, and uh, quiz games during the day. At night, they had bands on there. Uh, in the left-hand corner there in front of us is the whiskey and gin bar, uh, premium whiskey and gin bar. It costs you three three pounds, and you got yourself some, something special if you'd like. Now, three pounds, I think, is pretty cheap for some of the higher-end whiskeys that they had there. Uh, this is the uh, Indigo Bar and Casino. Uh, this was the late-night uh, club and uh, you know casino. Casino was very, very uh, mildly used, I would say. Um, but the bar itself was quite popular at night. It's up on the what I always call the sky deck. You can see that they could have a live band or they just have a DJ when it got later. Uh, but during the day, it was you know, you know air conditioned, out of the sun, out of the hustle and bustle. You could still get a drink, uh, just kind of get away from the world there for a little while. Up on the top deck, they have installed a new mini putt, free to use, 12 holes. Took us about I don't know. 15 20 minutes to play you know fun um so this is midship uh there's that again uh this is where the two main um or more popular a la carte over there is surf and turf 35 pounds well worth 35 pounds uh this is corolla uh that was more of an asian inspired thing and then we have a buffet you know pretty standard buffet for a cruise ship uh, and up behind it, you can see they had an outdoor eating area where at the back of the ship where you can sit and watch the, the ocean go by if you'd like. All in all, uh, Morelli did a wonderful job updating the ship, and I cannot say uh, anything bad about it. We had a great, great time.